All right, guys, this is what I'm going to keep inside my bag. Um, currently, I'm running, I have the uh, Shimano Blue Wave bag. It's a medium-sized bag. I think it's a little premature to do any type of review on it because I haven't physically used it. Just bought it, but I got like a uh, knockoff Boga grip on the side, lanyard to it, and then I got some pliers over here that I'll be having with it. Um, so this is everything that's going to... That, goes in it and it fits in it and I can actually fit more in it if I want to. I'm going to go through the lures. As you can see that they're very, very shiny. Some of them, uh, the majority of them are new this year. Um, I've all, I've been uh, chunk mackerel and using bait for the past three years, fishing for stripers off the beach in the surf. Um, the end of last year, the end of the summer into the fall, I started um, being more of an angler and enjoying that. I'm a long time bass fisherman. So what I decided is I said, I'm just gonna sort of kind of fill my bag with what I already know about fishing. Not saltwater fishing, I'm new at that. But uh, I'm gonna try to fill it with, so I can fill any type of the, any level of the water column. What I did is I asked around, I have some friends that fish, I've been watching some videos and just trying to pick out a variety of lures for, or plugs, I guess you guys call them plugs. Uh, I'll start calling them plugs. Um, for um, different levels of the water. Uh, ones that float, ones that sink, and depending on what the fish want. All right, to start off, I'm sure most of you pros already know what these are, but I'm gonna go through them. And if anyone has any advice for me, um, please put it in the comments, I'm, I'm, I'm welcome to it. Normally most of my videos I teach people, and this one I'm actually hoping to learn something while someone can give me some advice, all right? All right, so first off right here, I have a three ounce Robert Ranger. Um, that's brand new. You can see that's very, very shiny. Uh, that's our uh, top water. It's called a skipping lure, I believe. And next I have the uh, Timber uh, Tsunami, tsunami Flat Nose Swimmer. I actually caught fish off that. Um, my, my biggest fish to date, and which kind of got me hooked on this whole thing, it was a 39 inch I caught last year down the Cape. So I've used this lure and I like that it can actually cast a mile. I believe it's two and three quarters ounce. Um, next we have the um, Super Strike end fish. Um, I find that a lot of people use those, uh, the needlefish type lures, and um, I use this a little bit. I didn't catch any fish on it, but I did use it, and um, it's different. It feels like, it kind of feels like nothing. I think that's the way they're supposed to feel. Um, next right here, I have the Strike Pro Run Ara, I believe it, I believe that's the name, A-R-R-A, -R -R uh, 2.7 ounces. Um, I have not used that, that's shiny as, shiny as anything. Um, we, you can, obviously you can see how shiny it is. Um, next off, we have the Ton, Tony Stetsko. It's a wood needlefish. Now I had one last year and I caught a few fish on it uh, in the fall. And um, I don't know if I had caught a fish and it broke off, but I, but I lost it. And then uh, I had had it for a while. I don't know if someone had given it to me or I just acquired it over the years. And uh, so I figured I'd try it. I really didn't know what it was called, and it took me a long time to find it on the internet. Uh, and I found one on eBay, and it turns out they're discontinued. I'm sure there's many other people out there that have been fishing a long time, and they are, they're already aware of that. I guess it's quite a, a rare find. So I found one on eBay, and I bought it for short money. So I was happy with that. Next off is the uh, Yozori Mag Darter. Um, I haven't used that one yet. Um, I am looking forward to using it maybe in some current or some strong surf. That's what I've been learning. I'm learning that the Mag Darter is used with current. Um, obviously, if anyone has any advice for me, please put it in the comments. Um, tsunami uh, Pencil Popper. I have not used that one yet. Up here we have the, uh, the Yozori Hydro Minnow. I have used that one. Um, I've taken the hooks off of it. Um, uh, I know that there are some people out there that um, put inline hooks on it. I ended up getting a trouble hook in my hand and my finger last year, and it was not fun. So I'm going to experiment with some inline hooks, see if the... Um, the hookup ratio changes. Uh, next, I believe this is an, uh, I'm not sure what it is. I believe it's an Ava. I think they're called tins. Um, I have not used that one. Next, we have a, a very small deadly dick. I have not used that. And then we have a two and a half inch cast master. I did throw that just a little bit, but not very much. Um, I did use bucktails a lot last year and I, had, and I had lost a lot of them. I have two left here, well, actually three left. And, um, I think, uh, and my bag will hold a lot more than just two bucktails. So I think I might get a, a dozen or so. And it, 
it seems like you lose a lot of them. I think they, they go down and they get lost in the rocks and things and they catch, but they catch fish too. So I think it's worth having a bunch in your bag. And then I have a three ounce Spro bucktail, which I haven't used yet. All right, now down here, we, I'm gonna sit down here. Obviously I've got a tape measure to measure my fish. I'm out there. Um, so I say right now more for the meal than I am for the, um, the sport, but we'll, we'll see how that turns out. Then I have a bag that I keep within the bag itself. And I've got some, uh, these are Storm Paddle Tails and some Savage Gear Sand Deals. I have some more of these that I'm gonna put in it. And then at the end of last year, I was finding that making a leader in the middle of the surf or anything like that was near impossible, especially with the wind. So there's a lot of times I had to uh, recover to the beach or even back to my car to get a new leader and make a new leader. And someone suggested I get a leader wallet. Now this is brand new. I have not used this yet. It, you know, there's, there's no, not even a mark on it. So I'm looking forward to using it, getting out in the surf and, uh, Obviously, I don't want any leaders to break off, but this is what it is, and I'm sure there are many people out there that already use this and know exactly what it is. Um, I just, I'm for my leaders, I'm going to be using, well, I use um, the um, Tsunami Barrel Swivel with the Tactical Angler Clip. It seems to be um, the same across the board. It seems like this is what everyone's using, and this is what, what works for many people. And um, I use a 50-pound monofilament. And I got a couple of those in here. And then some people told me about teasers and I didn't know anything about teasers. So, um, uh, same rig up the same way. I believe these are like a, qu a quarter ounce bucktail teasers. And um, I, I look forward to using them and see how they work. So, that's all I got for you. That is what is in my surf bag and it all fits in there. Um, I'll probably do a review on the surf bag itself once I use it and I see how it works. All right, till then, that's all I got. Any advice is welcome to please put it in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.